Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the next video of uh, .NET MAUI that is command initiated with the controls. Uh, just I want to say something that is that a command, uh, a command actually initiated or you can say attached with the any controls. So uh, the basic uh, topic uh, today is the controls command. So uh, you can say these are the topics that is already discussed in this in these uh, previous lessons okay so here we have okay so just now right click on the uh, man um, project name and just click new item and in the new item just select dotnet movie in the left panel and in the middle panel you can select dotnet movie content page and you can say commands demo okay so here we have a commands demo and just I want to say uh, here you can add these commands and uh, each command discussed one by one like that so here we have a button first of all uh, I would like to say something about the button control actually button control is a trigger event when we click on the button control anything operation any operations will be happened uh, which is uh, created by the uh, developer so here we have a name demo btn and text is click to and clicked is a demo btn clicked one so here we have demo btn clicked one and in the source file you can say that just go to the view and the code file here is not actually added so just add it first of all uh, private void or you can say that uh, actually it is not clicked so just after that you can also uh, make this event like that so just remove these things first of all and create a new event automatically visual studio pop this uh, snippet that is new event handler so just click button demo click the event and after that you can see that in the code behind file automatically created a uh, event handler function in the code behind file and you can say uh, in I want to uh, just uh, uh, display a pop-up message by using display uh, dot sorry display alert message okay in which you can pass these uh, parameters like uh, first parameter is the title so uh, button click event button click command and uh, for which display message and here we have you can take the button control that is the okay and in the later videos I would like to uh, discuss all these uh, pop-up messages so uh, this is the first video tutorial so you can just uh, check this display alert button click command and run this uh, first of all and here you got lots of error related to your because the definition uh, is not uh, found related to the commands so here we have some commands related to the or radio buttons and many more so with correct signature is not type my tutorials command demo okay so line fall is uh, the type of error you uh, found and here you can see that image button so first of all remove all these uh, command from the this check changed event also we have a check chased event a radio button have a check changed event and the search bar have a uh, search button pressed event and in the swipe view we have not invoked uh, invoked is the swipe view item so invoked is the type of event for the swipe view 
okay so everything is clear now you can save this and first to make this uh, commands demo as a first page so in the app.xml file in the cshtml file you can just make the first file commands demo okay so now the save this and run this uh, uh, video on your windows machine first of all you can execute build or rebuild command and you can see here we have so here we have you can see that uh, the first one is the button click and when we click on this button control then uh, you can see the button click command uh, this is the title and the message that is display and the ok button so here we have a button control and you can see these are the options option 1, option 2, option 3 and option 1 so uh, each are the actually selected uh, you can see that it's only the fourth one is the selected but uh, um, if you have uh, two options in the one questions like uh, you are you married so option one and option two is related to the uh, question one and if you uh, again if you are asking another questions like uh, uh, are you uh, 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 please choose the gender so the question three and the option four is related to the question two so what uh, will be uh, there that is related to your group id so you can see in the commands demo here we have a button control and the second one is the image button with the click event also so here we have a click event and you can also pass a new event handler or uh, the same event handler like that okay and .net bot .svg is the file name where your images reside but image is not display actually right now because uh, .net svg file is actually not located uh, the right place so uh, you can also you can uh, use oven.png oven.png file with the height and the width property so width is 100 and the height is also 100 you can take it because and you can see that when we click on this uh, image button image as a button control so button click command is display the same with the button control okay so the next one is the radio button so the radio button uh, with have a checked change event and the new event handler fire and all these radio buttons are the same event handler so just copy first of all stop the debugging so here we have a check changed event paste it here paste it here and paste it here so all these are the related to the same radio button uh, check change event but you can see that uh, the first two radio button uh, option 1 and option 2 is related to the uh, gp1 uh, group name but in the option 3 and option 4 radio buttons have in the gp2 radio buttons so in the group 1 group name so uh, these are uh, these radio button actually uh, call the new event okay so here we have you can say that radio button uh, just call now the second radio button okay so in the uh, code behind file you can select display alert radio button messages uh, e dot value just I want to say something and here we have a ok message ok so the first one is the related to the uh, this and the similar you can say that uh, the same message you can pass it here but, or you can say that uh, these messages also uh, replace with here so uh, 
also all these four buttons are actually related to the same event header and save this and run on your windows machine and search bar is actually related to the search button pressed event and radio button is related to the check change event so here you can add it here first of all okay now uh, just you can set option 1 is selected radio button true radio button uh, that is the first message that is the false and the second one is the true so if you want to take uh, the name or the text value uh, on your uh, um, windows so e dot e dot value is related to the true and the false but uh, if you can take the uh, command uh, as a sender uh, just i want to say that uh, sender or you can say um, dot just i want to sender as a button so radio button as a sender so here you can take radio button as a sender so where uh, okay radio button r1 equals to sender okay so just i want to take r1 dot text at here okay so here you can take r1 dot oops text is not there and okay okay content is the uh, content is the property name in the radio button that is the uh, so r1 dot content okay so now again you have to run your window uh, run your command on windows machine and wait for some times it's uh, run on your windows machine and also you can check on your uh, mobile screen the similar thing will be happened with the mobile in the windows machine so here we have a option one so here we have a true and option one and just when we click select the false option one and the true option two okay the, the same thing um, we have happened option to false option two and true what because the option three is actually related to the uh, next uh, event handler okay so now uh, the next one is the swipe view swipe view uh, is related to the invoked function okay so here we have a invoked function but you can see uh, in the swipe view dot left items actually existing the in the left items here we have a swipe view and just swipe in the left item in the left item you can see here you can swipe this item you can see that archive and the delete is the two options when we click on the archive and when we click on the delete a related operation will be happened okay so here we have a archive and here we have a delete options and here we have a search bar like that uh, just uh, you can type this my name Jacob and click on the search bar button this is the search bar button okay so here we have a swipe view swipe view item this is and just pass that invoked uh, proper message just event handling so you can pass with the green background color icon image source and text is archive and icon image source is must with the text color okay so uh, and the swipe view dot left item is there and in the swipe view here we have a grid control with the background color is gray height and width with the label control horizontal option vertical option and text is swipe right side so these are the command initiated with the uh, controls okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asv.net core 
एंड डॉक्टर मोवोई थैंक यू वेरी मच